Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Wario World. In the previous episode we finished off Shivering Mountains with the, one of the freakish, most freakish looking bosses in video gaming history. In this episode we're going to be taking on the second level of Thrillsville which is Beanstalk Way. Oh man. It's been a long day I should say. That's definitely all I'm going to say about that. But here it is. This is being stalked away. Very peaceful level, I suppose. But it's also a, just a bit more annoying than than Shivering Mountains is, which is not really saying much because even though being stalked, being stalked, bleh, 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 Shivering Mountains, sorry, was kind of an annoying level. This one is well, it's it's just it, it's annoying in a different way, I should say. Like first of all, we have uh, anyway. These are what the, the yeah. These are what the basic enemies look like. But uh, more importantly, we got the spin dig thing, spin ding things, or whatever they're called. Back from, uh, you know, what's a thing? I'm just not remembering stuff anymore, okay? Um, jeez, horror manner. Oh my god. Okay, so, yes, these things are back from horror manner, except this time you have to stomp on the flower in order to, like, bloom it, and that's how the spin ding thing comes out. Um,. I guess I didn't really do a good job explaining it because it kind of just did both. Okay, so whenever you see this thing, if you ground pound on it, that will open up a spin ding thing, okay? That's what I was trying to explain, so I don't know why I had so much trouble explaining, but there you go. Knock down the fruit of the tree freaks. The tree freaks are the mid-boss of Beanstalk Way, just letting you guys know. Careful, their fruit has thorns. Thro pound the ground to jostle them, then grab them. And that's basically all there is to it. So we'll be encountering those guys later on, but for now, we're going to hit that button. And we're going to knock down one of these, uh, one of these flying enemies. I don't know why they picked this design for the flying enemies and being stock way, but, you know, it's, 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 it's just, it's whatever. That's all there is to it. In fact, actually, there's a second kind of flying enemies that we only encounter in this level. And we will be seeing them, seeing them later on. But for now, we have our very first sub-level of this level. And this one is admittedly kind of annoying. You just have to, you know, hit the blocks in the right way so that you still have some left, but, you know, but you still have enough that you can get to the top of this thing. So it's kind of similar in some ways to one of the, uh, one of the things in, uh, uh what's it called? Uh, um the first level, which is... You know what? Why should I even bother trying to remember the names of the levels when I just can't really seem to remember anything these days? I just can't. Kind of, kind of getting ridiculous, I should say, but whatever. It's just something I can't really deal with right now, but here we go. Another end. Another... Surprising God. The Tool Patui sucks up Glue Globe shortly after it spits them out. Yuck. Grab on quickly and use them to cross. Will do. Mr. Spryling will do. And as always, I'm going to destroy the rest of these blocks, but I'm not going to bother to speed them up because, uh, I mean, bother to speed up because it's not really going to change the time much. I, well, actually, then again, you can't really destroy the rest of these. I don't think it's even possible to destroy all these blocks because look at this. Look at this. It's it's not possible to get these because they're facing towards the thing. I mean, the, the part that you can you hit to destroy them is facing away from you, so you can't really do anything, <coughs> do anything about that. Um... Now, one important thing I should note when you're going when you're going through this level is keep keep track of uh, these panels that you have not seen the buttons to yet. Like, like first of all, remember red for later on because once you finally see the red button, you're going to want to quickly come back. Like right here, yeah, here's the red button right here. So we're going to hit this red button. And by remembering the red panel, we know where it is, and we can go back to it. So, and, that, and that's basically what we're going to be dealing with a little bit in this level, more than anything. Is just uh, remember remembering the locations of panels, since you don't, you're oftentimes not going to see the buttons like right next to them, as in this level. You're like, chances are there's like a few of them where you'll see you'll see a panel, but you won't see a pan see a button until like later on. And I don't know what's up with my voice lately, because it's just, I guess, just not a good day for recording, I suppose. I, I just really hate how my, my throat just, like, I don't know, like, it's like my throat and my nose, they both, like, have a snot or something, like, in my throat. 
and his butt's like hanging from my nose, so for some reason that kind of... I know this is really disgusting, but I kind of just have to have to explain this just to, you know, get this out of the way. Sometimes it does that, and there's nothing, like... And it just kind of affects my voice, and so it, and it's like really annoying because like it, kind of, it, it like kind of caused caused me to pause and stuff. If that makes any sense, like like how I keep on pausing it's because like sometimes it like I, I don't know how to explain. Like it kind of drips down, and it kind of like blocks my voice for a second or something like that. I don't know. Like I, I really just don't know. That's the best way I can explain it without grossing people out. But even then, I probably still did. So, it doesn't even matter. Alright, so, you just drop down here, because if you want to get 100%, you're going to have to do this. You're going to have to drop down here and get to the sub-level. And this is the more difficult version of the most difficult one at the ever at the Greenhorn Forest. So, because now you have two of these rings to go through that have the spike balls in the center. And you have to, once again, get on the right side that's not going to be blocked off by the, thing, by the obstacle in the ring. And that's basically the best way I can explain that. And there we go. We, we just completed that. In fact, actually, a lot of the levels, you, sub levels you see in this uh, in this world, in this level, are actually the same as the ones. In, they're basically more difficult versions of the of the ones we encounter in the Greenhorn Forest. So, you know, in that retros retrospect, um, I guess they're not really as bad as the as the uh, ones we've been seeing lately in Shivering Mountains, I suppose. They're just uh, basically just more difficult versions of the first level. Anyways, enough explaining stuff over and over again. We're going to pick up one of these enemies and use them to get the heck out of here because it's not a good place to be. Because really, you know, once you once you take care of everything down here, really all there is just a bunch of enemies down here, which is really annoying to deal with. So we're going to basically avoid them. Um, this is the thing that the yellow Spryling was talking about. These guys right here spit out the glue gloves and then and suck them back in. Yeah, it's really gross. I mean, not as gross as you might have expected to make it, to see it look, but it's still gross nonetheless. Okay, so here we have our very first trapdoor sub level, level, and I need to stop noting the first of every level, or whatever. Okay, because that's just annoying. Oh, this one's a lot of fun. I love this one. Basically, you just do what the arrow does. You drop down. As you can see, that's kind of why I love this sub-level, because you just drop down to get everything. Like, first you drop down there to get the diamond, then you drop down this way to get the statue piece, and there you go. Land on the panel, and that's it for the sub-level. So it's a pretty fun one, I got to admit. It's actually, you know, I can't imagine, it's also really easy, too, on top of that, so I can't really imagine anyone having trouble with that. But, um, now, um, after we hit this panel right here, we're going to drop down into a battle arena, first of all. And not only that, but we're also in like a, a separate area of the entire level entirely, I should say. Well, it's kind of, that's kind of a weird way to... Okay, these are the these are the other flying enemies I was talking about. Basically, all they do is they just blow you around. So, they can't really hurt you unless they unless they blow you into an enemy that hurts you. And they're pretty much a one-hit kill. And by that, I mean like you can hit, you can hit, you can kill them instantly by hitting them just once. And what the heck? Okay, for some reason, and I don't know what the deal is, but for some reason, and this is actually the very first time it's ever done this, you know, in the very the very first playthrough of Warrior World for me where it's done this. And basically, it's like, like Wario's picking up the things in different, different angles. Like he just picked up uh, that pillar there from upside down, like I, I never seen him do that before, so it's kind of weird that he's doing this in a Let's Play, but whatever. It's just a thing to expect when you're doing a let's play of a game is that it's gonna be it's gonna act a little differently, I suppose, for some for whatever reason. There's no treasure right there. And as you can see, music's kinda different in this area. That means because that's because we're in a se separate area of the level. And once you get to this point, the only way you can go back to the beginning area of the level is by getting to the end and taking the bye-bye balloon. So until then you're kinda stuck with whatever you've already got. And uh for this one. Um, okay, so basically it goes like this. Hit the switch, and that will cause this platform to start moving over there. Now what you want to do, once it reaches the end, stop it, and then hit this switch to make this one move, 
and then once this one reaches the ends, hit this switch again. So that way, these platforms are connected in a way that you can actually access both of them. But, um, unfortunately, when you start off this sub-level, this one is already activated, so you kind of have to work with the other ones in order to make it so that you can reach that one as well. But there we go, we just make it so, made it so that we can get to the end of the sub-level, I mean. So now it's possible to take these platforms and get to the end, so we're going to do that now. While well, they're still going. Well, actually, they're going to remain going for the rest of the level, so it doesn't matter. And there we go, so now we have a safe journey to the diamond and the third sprite, it looks like. Wow. Jeez, only 10 minutes into the level, and we've already encountered, like, three of the Spritelings, so... Yeah, the Spritelings come pretty fast in this level. The monstrous magnets do more than just get in your way, you know? Think about it. What do magnets do? You can figure this out, Wario. Yes, there's enough knowledge in his brain. You know, if you try to look around all the wealth and greed and stuff like that, you'll find- you'll definitely find some knowledge inside of Wario's brain, that's part of it. And here we have the beginning of these enemies right here that you only encounter in this one level. These enemies are extremely annoying. They're basically... Well, I don't know what they're called because the game doesn't really actually tell you. But they're basically like mountain goats or whatever. I apologize if I don't know what those things are supposed to depict in real life because I'm not a big ex expert, expert on wildlife. So I apologize about that, but that's just something that you have to expect. I, don't, I just don't know everything about wildlife. That's all there is to it. Oh, this one. Okay, so there's a big, 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 big spinning, rotating platform thing in the in the in the middle of this sub level, and all you have to do is just get to the other side of it, and there you go. There's the very end. Look at this, another Spriteling at the end of a trapdoor sub level, or more like a sub level in general, because we have one in a regular sub level as well back there. This kind of place holds many treasures. I bet the cliff cliff bases do too. Okay, so that Spritely's just kind of talking about, you know, how some of the collectibles work in the same way. And I think I've already done, like, a decent job explaining all that. And crap. You know what? I actually forgot that I was supposed to, you know, take care of something before I came down here. Because there's going to be a panel at the top of this uh, well here. Because we're actually climbing to the top of a well, of a well right here. And there's a panel at the top of this. And the button just so happens to be right. I mean, the button just so happens to be right above it, like above this uh, area here, so that means that we're going to have to come back down there, take care of those enemies to get the spin ding thing going again, and I just spell the bomb again, so just gonna be getting that. I mean, it's such a me, sorry. But whatever. We can deal with it, I suppose, you know. I mean, I could cut, but I really just don't feel like you know, just, I'm kind of, like, recording this at 9 o'clock at night on the day this video is supposed to go up. That means I will be able to get up before midnight, but, um... But that means I'd have to do, like, a, a minimum amount of editing, which means, like, no cutting at all. Just, just you know, syncing up the audio and the gameplay. So, um, all the other jazz and whatnot. So, even then, that still takes a while, but it'll be, like, not long enough to the point where I won't be able to get this up today. But I don't think it really matters if I get up today or tomorrow, because, you know, truth to tell, I really don't see me, you know, being in the mood to play Metroid Prime anytime soon, because... Now, don't get the wrong idea, guys. Don't think that I'm canceling the series, because if you think that, then you got pro- then you clearly don't have enough experience, enough experience with my channel, because... I originally played that game back in summer 2012. And after only nine episodes, I stopped playing it. Because I didn't feel like playing the game anymore. But I came back to it a year later. And I did, like, episodes 10 through 41 in an entire summer. And actually started enjoying the game. So, so those people who think I'm going to cancel it now, you should not think that because people, I'm pretty sure, looked a lot more like I was going to cancel it back in 2012. You know, when I stopped playing it then than, than it does now. Because now I know that I'm actually, I can have an interest in that game. I just don't, you know, just don't feel like playing it right now because of certain reasons I won't talk about here. But anyways, these are the magnets that the Sprite is talking about. Basically, you just, you know, do it the... You know, do what the Spritely says, use common sense, and you'll eventually figure out that you can, that you can stick these magnets onto these metal walls and you can use them to get to higher areas. 
that you could not get to before without them. And now I'm going to use one of these enemies to get back up here because I just forgot that I just pressed the button that now allows us to get the uh, the green treasure piece panel thingy. Let's just get down there and get it. Jeez. Instead of like, you know, contemplating over me trying to say the right word, which I just can't. And anyways, um, after I get that treasure, I think we'll be ending off this episode here because it's up to time, the big old 1530, which is basically the specific time I like to end off my videos. I don't know why, but that's just 15 minutes seems like a perfect enough time that I can still end. Dude. God, really? Just, just really? Uh, not only that, but I also have to go to the bathroom for like the sixth time today because I'm just saying my stomach has not been nice today. I'm not going to go into detail about that. Hey, look, seven em 700 enemies we just killed. We just killed our 700th enemy in the entire game. So, cool fact. Anyways, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Let's play episode Wario. I mean, let's play a Let's Play episode Wario. God. See you guys later. Bye.